Welcome to Postcards from the Open Road. I'm at one of the most historic places from American history. Not many people know about this place, South Pass in central Wyoming. It's located on the Continental Divide and it's a natural crossing point between the central and southern Rockies. Over 500,000 people traveled through this pass on their way to Oregon, California, and Utah. The Pony Express also rode through here on their way to Sacramento. Most people know this trail as the Oregon Trail, but it's also known as the Mormon Trail and the California Trail. What's so impressive about this area is that over half a million people literally walk through here in hopes of finding a new home in the Western United States. I've been up to South Pass here twice now, and I haven't seen a soul come up here to check out this historic place. You know, it's just a beautiful spot. It's up pretty high, you know, about 7,500 feet. It's got a great sky in the evening, wide expanses. And then I, when I think about all the people that traveled through here, you know, back in the 1800s, and uh, it just blows my mind. And just think about all those folks who, who really put, you know, their livelihoods or lives on the line for a better life out west. And I have to give it to them, pretty impressive, all those folks that did that. But just think about what you had to do back then. You would take six months and literally walk 2,000 miles to get to your new home. that over 500,000 immigrants had passed through here, so I thought it may be interesting and we'll take things down to more personal level. Urza Meeker, he came through here in 1852 with his wife. They settled in the Pacific Northwest in Oregon. He came back in uh, 1906 and planted this marker because he didn't want people to forget about all the travelers and all their all their problems that they had when they had come through here. Just wanted people to remember them. Off my right is another marker. Two women, Narcissa Whitman and uh, Eliza Hart, they passed through here in the summer of 1836. They were the first white women to travel west. They were with their husbands who were missionaries. They hooked up with a fur trading group and, and um, they settled up in the Pacific Northwest. Those early travelers were coming here in the 1830s. It wasn't later after uh, John T. Fremont kind of rediscovered the past here in the 1840s that it became very popular. Another group that you're probably familiar with, they're the 49ers. That was the group of gold seekers. 79,000 49ers passed through here on their way to California. Now one group you probably know about and you may not know that they came through here was the Donner Party. In uh, 1846, they got a late start out of Missouri and um, you know, they ran into severe snow and a really, really hard winter out by Lake Tahoe and we know the story that happened to them that they, uh, most of them didn't make it. Over my left shoulder is Oregon Buttes. That was a major landmark for pioneers on the Oregon Trail. Once they saw Oregon Buttes, they knew they were near South Pass, and that was the route they were seeking on their way to Oregon, California, or Salt Lake City. Mormon church leader Brigham Young led the first Mormon wagon train west on the trail here in 1846 to 1847. Starting in April 1860, the Pony Express was born. Wiry young men on fast horses carried the mail for 1,600 miles from St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California, and it only took 10 days. I've stayed the night here and had a chance to walk a bit of the Oregon Trail. 
It's really hard to visualize the lives of the people who traveled through here. However, getting out here in the landscape and taking a look around, walking the trail, gives me some insight into the problems that all those people faced. What they didn't know was that the roughest part of the journey still lay in front of them. Access to the Oregon Trail is just south of South Pass, Wyoming, the little mining town. Thanks again for joining me on Postcards from the Open Road. See you next time.